How's it going, you guys? I hope you're having a blessed, amazing day. I know I'm having a great day. It is nice and sunny out here. We are at the Gossamer Grove community in Northwest Bakersfield, also Shafter technically, um, but we're just right off of 7th Standard here um, in Northwest Bakersfield, even though, like I said, it is considered Shafter due to the city lines. Um, but take a look at this beautiful home we are standing outside of. These are some of the new builds. We're also gonna do a walkthrough of that house over there. So you guys will be seeing that as well. Um, but these are the new builds over here in the Gossamer Grove community. So if you guys are interested in this home or in this community, reach out to me and I would love to help you get connected uh, and see what is available. That way we can get you into a home um, but before we actually start walking through this house, I want to let you guys know that if you are interested in the home buying process and want to know a little bit about what that looks like, I would love to um, give you my free home buyer guide. Just click here in the corner and you can download that completely free so that you can understand the buying process and see where you want to go from there. Remember, you guys, to always stay until the end of the video for the good news, the best news you will ever hear in your life. But without further ado, let's get started. Sorry if it was a little loud out there. They are doing a lot of work daily here in this neighborhood. Um, but as soon as we walk into this home, this is the Melody floor plan. Sorry, I didn't mention it outside. This is the Melody floor plan. So if you like this house, just let me know. Hey, Adrian, I'm interested in the Melody floor plan. But we have a bedroom downstairs. This home is a four bed, three. Well, sorry about that. It's a five bed. My mistake. This home is a five bedroom, three baths, 2,578 square feet. And as of right now, it is starting at around 496000 That is the current starting price. And of course, the sooner you reach out, if you like this house, then the closer it'll be to that price point. Um, because as soon as they start building these homes, the prices do start going up as the community is developed. You have a nice office space here in the walkway. Then to your right, this would be your garage. The only thing is that they actually have it locked because, yeah, it's locked. It's always locked because they have um, some stuff that they keep in the garage. It's like a storage space, basically. As we walk over here, you have your beautiful open kitchen on the left with an island. This home does come with your oven, stove, microwave, and your dishwasher. Beautiful open windows. That way you can look out into the backyard, whether you have your kids out there, or let's say you're having a barbecue, whatever it might be. It's really cool how um, these homes by Lennar are always um, very open, especially when it comes to like the backyard. They make it a cool like seamless look because you have the really big windows over here as well in the living room, which is awesome. Really nice open floor plan. This would be your dining area here. This is where your refrigerator would go. Let's actually open up that pantry for you as well. There you go. You have a nice walk-in kind of pantry here in the kitchen, which is always nice for some extra storage. All right. Like I said, we walked up front, we had a bedroom, the first bathroom downstairs, then an office space, which this is really 
awesome because a lot of times some people have maybe a mother-in-law, father-in-law, someone that's living with you that's a bit older and can't go up the stairs. And it's always good to have a bedroom downstairs. Even if you don't have someone like that in your family, let's say you plan on buying another home in the future and selling your house. Like let's say you decide to upgrade from this home. That's always going to help you when you have your home listed on the market. People would are going to pay more for something that has a bedroom downstairs. So that's always a good addition. Let's make our way upstairs now. Like I said, we're in the Melody floor plan. And this is starting like 496 price range. All right, so right to our left, we have our second bedroom. Really nice. Next to that bedroom, we have our second bathroom with a bathtub dual sinks and then you have your laundry room which has a lot of space and you get this nice big closet that you can walk into in the laundry room which is really cool it's a nice open area here in between the bedrooms, bathrooms, and laundry rooms. That way it's not just like a very small hallway, but you actually have some area and some space. Here's our next bedroom. Our closet. This bedroom is facing the backyard. Awesome. All righty, now we're about to walk into the master bedroom. There we go. Which is facing the back of the home as well. And this is a pretty big bed here. This almost looks like a king. Yeah, yeah it's bigger than a queen. So this is a king bed. At least I believe so. And that's able to fit in here with two pretty big nightstands. Well, pretty wide nightstands. They're bigger in person and they're able to fit here and you still have a lot of space in front of you for the dresser. And we walk into, let me turn these lights on. They're on my other side. There we go. Into our master bathroom where you have these two sinks, a lot of cabinet space underneath. You have your walk-in standing shower. To the right of that, you actually have the toilet separate from all of this, so there would be a door here as well. And then we have our closet, nice walk-in closet, with a lot of space. Awesome. Now let's make our way over here because we actually have one more bedroom. So this home has a bedroom downstairs and then four bedrooms upstairs. Here is our last bedroom. And you guys, this home and almost all the other homes in Lennar will have, well, all the other homes will have solar that you can either decide to purchase or lease. They are already put onto the home just because it's law. It's the law in California that all the new builds do have solar, which does end up saving you some money. And you get the choice to either um, lease it or PPA is what I mean, or you can actually purchase it. So that's one thing that you get from these homes. You get to save on electric with the solar that's already um, installed onto the home. And like I mentioned, you do get the appliances, the oven, stove, microwave, and dishwasher. And with these homes, there's always some wiggle room with the credits. So if I'm right, 
there should be already at least a $5,000 credit for you, the buyer, from the builder. So the builder will credit you working with their preferred lender. Um, so if you guys do get connected with me, of course, we will see if this home is available or if there is another home that, um, that fits your criteria. And once we find that home, we can get you connected with the preferred lender. And when you're working with Lennar's preferred lender, they do actually offer you a credit. Typically, like I said, it's $5,000, but that can go towards your closing costs when you're buying the house, or you can use it to buy down your interest rate if that's what you would rather use the money for. But basically, they give you that working with their preferred lender. So that's always great. Um, but that is pretty much it for this home tour. Um, this is a model home. So this backyard, is it even going to unlock? Usually they unlock, I guess not today. But um, this is a model home. So this backyard won't be the size of yours. Maybe it'll be similar to this. But when we actually find the lot that is available, we will know what the, um, the lot size is and how big your backyard is going to look. But that's pretty much it for this home. If you guys are interested in this house, reach out to me. Let me know that you like the Melody floor plan. My information is all down below so you can contact me. Um, or if you're just interested and you're ready to buy a home, feel free to schedule a consultation with the link down in the description. Um, another thing I want to mention, I usually don't care, but I noticed when I was going through my YouTube uh, creator like account that only like 6% of you guys that watch the videos are actually subscribed, which is insane. 94% of you that watch videos are not subscribed. So if you would like to be reminded about the homes, have them continue to pop up on your um, homepage while you're watching or you're scrolling through YouTube, uh, feel free to subscribe. I would absolutely love that. I think we're almost at 2,000 subscribers if I'm right. Um, but yeah, with all that being said, um, it is now time for the good news, the best news you guys will ever hear in your lives. And that is the Bible verse, John 3, 16. For God so loved the world, he gave his one and only son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. You guys, this home is absolutely beautiful. Um, there are many things in this world that are amazing. Many things in this world that can temporarily make us happy for a moment. But you know, if you bought a house like this and it was truly bought just to fit, fill the void in your heart and make you happy, right? We know that that's going to wear off. There's cars that a lot of people decide to buy because they feel like it's going to fill a void in their lives, but then eventually it goes away. That happens with everything in this life. And the reason is because everything here on earth is temporary. Even our own lives on this earth are temporary. We're going to die one day. Our bodies, our flesh, we're going to die one day. And the question is, what happens then? Well, the way that the Bible explains it is that in the beginning of time, God created Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve were in fellowship with God, in perfect fellowship with God, right? But the moment that they decided to sin, when they ate from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, and God said, do not eat from that tree. You can do anything else but eat from that tree. And they ate from that tree. That's the moment where they were put under a curse of sin that they put on themselves when they decided to eat of the tree that God told them not to. And the only reason I go that far back is to show you that we were created from two. If we look at our lineage, our family, our people, of course, when we get to the top, there are two people that God placed on this earth. Well, he placed Adam and then he made Eve from Adam. Um, but what I'm trying to say is that we know we are sinners. Guys, we do things that are wrong. Our hearts sometimes desire things that are wrong. We sometimes act in ways that are wrong. 
And sometimes we can't even help it, right? And we're like, why do I, why do I have evil desires at times? Why, why do I live this way? Why am I selfish? Why do I sometimes hate people? Why, 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 why? And the thing is, just like you didn't decide your ethnicity because those that were before you were already that ethnicity that you are right now today, just like that, where you had no choice but to be whatever ethnicity you are, you were just born that way. We have no choice but to be sinners because of Adam and Eve who actually passed down the curse of sin. So deep down, when we are born, we are sinners just because of that sin that is passed down through humankind, right? And the significance of what Jesus Christ did on the cross is that he came down. Jesus, God himself in human form, came down onto this earth and he lived a perfect sinless life that I could not live, that you could not live, that none of us could live because we were already born sinners with sinful hearts that naturally want to go against the things of God, right? And in its most simplest form, what we need to understand is that that is the truth, that we were naturally born sinners because of the curse that started with Adam and Eve. But the good news of that verse of John 3.16 is that Jesus came down and he obeyed God's commands completely. He lived a life that was not sinful. He lived the perfect life that I couldn't live, that you couldn't live. And now we're getting back to that, kind of getting back to understanding that, that Jesus was the only one who lived a perfect life, a perfect sinless life. So that means that he is the only one who deserves to not be punished, to not be put to death. But what did he do for me? What did he do for you? He allowed himself to be put on the cross and die for my sin, for your sin. And his blood was shed on the cross. His pure, clean blood was shed on the cross. And he did not deserve that. But he sacrificed himself for me, for you, for everyone, right? So by his blood and by what Jesus already did on the cross, for me, for you, for all of us, we have been made perfect because of his blood. We're forgiven because of him. So when we enter, well, when we leave this life and we are in front of the gates of heaven, if God were to ask you, hey, why do you deserve to go to heaven? Why do you think that you can enter into heaven? What did you do on earth? Your answer is not, I did all these great things. Um, I was nice to people. I was this. Because that is the reason why Jesus had to come down. Because there are bad things we've all done that actually go against God. And we still need to pay for those sins, right? So when we get to the point where we're in front of the gates of heaven and God says, hey, why, did, why do you deserve to go to heaven? It's because I believe that Jesus died on the cross for my sins and he already lived the perfect life for me, not because of anything I've done, but because of what he's already done for me. The life that he lived and the death that he died on the cross for me. And why that's the best news you will ever hear in your life, like I said in the beginning of the video, is because it takes all the weight off your shoulders all the shame that you felt, all the guilt that you felt for any of the things you've done, all the days that you're waking up and trying and trying and trying to be perfect and do everything the right way is lifted off your shoulders because Jesus already finished the work for you on the cross. And all you have to do now is believe and accept that he already lived the perfect life for you. So I hope you guys can take some time to think about that because it's truly the most beautiful thing ever and it's completely changed my life. And I now understand that I will be in eternity with the Father for forever because of what Jesus did for me.
I hope you guys have a blessed day and reach out to me. If you need anything at all, I'm ready to help you guys and, and serve your families. Goodbye.